Hi, my name is Latia Russell, and I am a two-time best-selling author, and I co-own Operate Ties That Bind Publishing with my husband, William Russell. What pushed me into accepting this calling of writing, um, becoming an authorpreneur, uh, I would say life for sure. I started writing as a preteen um, and a teenager, and I actually used that as an outlet. Um, and so I actually, I write about this in an upcoming anthology project that I'm a part of that will be releasing um, soon in December. It's called Stand Up. And I write about the story between, or the relationship um, between my mom and I. My mom um, was not, well, she was in and out of my life. And um, she was also in and out of um, jail and was incarcerated several times in, in prison growing up. And um, I used writing, um, I started writing poems and poetry um, as a way to deal with um, abandonment uh, or my feelings of abandonment and um, just the situation growing up in with my childhood and um, dealing with all of that. And so I think that um, I actually remember the first three poems that I wrote. Um, they were dark <laughs> and deep, um, but I also remember um, be getting angry not long after I wrote them um, and tearing them up. And so I, as I got into college, um, I started writing more um, and using poetry as um, just a therapeutic tool for me. And after I graduated from college, um, shout out to Hampton University, the real HU. Um, and I began working in a residential treatment facility for um, at-risk youth and adolescents. And um, I instituted or introduced a poetry group for um, the girls who were in um, the residential and we use that as an outlet because I saw a lot of their struggles um, were some of the same struggles that I went through growing up and really needing an, an outlet or someone to help me channel that energy and um, lean into my creativity and my creative writing and so um, I that carried on with me um, in my professional career um, using writing as a therapeutic tool. Um, and that's something that I still do today. And so when people ask me about the author journey, it's, it's funny because it's so rewarding. Um, but it's also very, very grueling, um, because you can pour your heart and soul into your projects and nobody buy them. Um, and it's you we we seek validation um and in this line of business sales are validation and so it it can be hard it can be tough um and you really do have to stick it out um you have to um drill down who your target audience is. You have to drill down your niche. You have to find your voice and you really have to determine your why. Why are you doing this? Why are you writing? Why are you becoming an entrepreneur is what, you know, I'd like to call myself. Um, why, what is your why? And once you find your why, you just have to stay consistent um, and stay steadfast and keep writing. You, you're going to write some stories that are for you um, that may or may not do well. And you're going to find the stories that your readers or your target audience want to read. And those may or may not do well. And that also may come um, in, 
in waves. It, it, it will ebb and flow. And so I, you know, I keep fighting and pushing and but mainly just by the grace of God is how I overcome the obstacles that um, are put in my way or that I find myself having to overcome um, or battle um, and and really figuring out um, the lesson in that because I, I do feel like it's all a lesson um, on the, on this journey. And for individuals who are ready to write, who want to write, but don't know how to do that, um, or that are afraid of um, not being successful or um, not knowing where to start, I will would tell them to use use the fear, lean into the fear, and just start writing. Because what you know for sure is that if you don't do that, then you definitely don't have anything, right? But if you just get the words on the page, you never know. Like that could be the story that is going to change someone's life. And so you really do have to um, put the fear aside and you have to... um Again, get back to your why. Why are you doing this? Um, what stories are you trying to tell? Get a mentor. Get a writing coach. Um, join author groups. When I first started, I had no idea how to be an author. Um, I had no idea how to get a book published. But I knew that I had these ideas and I knew that I had these stories to tell. And I knew that I wanted to do that with my family, with my husband and my son. Um, we live in a multi-generational household. So my mother and my grandmother live with us as well. And I wanted to do that with my mother and my grandmother because we want to create generational wealth um, and passive income. That's why my husband and I established our publishing agency because we want to um, create generational wealth. And we also want to do our part to combat illiteracy. And we also want to create inclusive and educational content for individuals that look like our son. Um, and our godchildren and our cousins and our nieces and our nephews. And so we set out on this journey to do just that. Um, and so it, it's been a very long journey. Um, even in our short time, we have not even come up on a year yet. But within that amount of time of us establishing our publishing agency at the end of December 2020 and publishing our first piece of content um, in January. And I'll show you is this. This is a daily gratitude journal for moms. That was the first piece of content that we published. And then um, I published this journal with my son. He got his first author cred at the age of three. And since that, um, that amount of time, we've published upwards of 13 pieces of content um, under our publishing agency, um, so self-published. And we did that by joining Facebook groups and doing webinars and learning, um, figuring out Google um, and, and really immersing ourselves into the author community. And we knew that we wanted to um, also write children's stories. And so we are doing that. We actually just uh, released our first children's book. Um, you can see the poster right up there, but we debuted our first children's book at October 18th, Bravo, the Brave Butterfly. Again, this is a story that was created um, by myself, 
by my son, um, our four-year-old son, and um, my husband. And we will continue to write stories together and we will continue to create content that is educational for children, that's educational um, for families, that's educational for adults, um, because we believe um, that we all are worthy of that, that we all deserve that. Um, another piece of content that cre I, we created, my husband, son, and I, um, is a positive affirmations coloring book for children. Um, and this one I'll flip through because I, 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 we love this, this book, but it, so it says, I am cool. I am happy. I am brave. This is actually my son's coloring book, the, his personal coloring book that we purchased for him um, that we color in. But we believe that I am are probably two of the most powerful words in the English language and that we really do have to sew into our children. Um, and so we were very intentional about creating the... Uh, positive affirmations coloring book and it's been so well received it was probably um, one of our very best selling pieces of content um, because it's something that parents can do with their children it is something that um, it, it's a learning tool because the affirmations are the focal point um, and I obviously if, if you have uh preschoolers or um, young elementary school students. I am, those are kind of sight words um, that, that they learn to help them learn how to read. And then the positive affirmations is just something to continue to affirm them um, as they continue to grow and try to navigate and make sense of this world. Um, so just start. If I can leave you with anything, I will leave you with that. Just start. Um, pick up that pen. Pick up the, the pencil. Um, grab your notebook. Grab your journal. Um, take your journal that you your journals that you already have and see if you can start piecing stories together. Um, we underestimate the power of our voices. And so it's so important that we um, just have confidence in ourselves and know that our struggles um, and us overcoming and persevering through them may be exactly what someone else needs to hear to help them overcome their own struggles. And so um, I'm a licensed clinical social worker by profession. And I recently did a presentation to some master of social work students and a bachelor of social work students. And the, the topic was being the light, right? Be the light because we never know how our light illuminating will help someone come out of their own dark place. So I really, really thank you for the time and for listening to me and my story um, and a little bit about my journey. If you are interested in following us, um, like I said, we have tons and tons and tons more stories to write and tell, then you can do so. We are at ties that bind publishing on all social media and we actually are going to be in the process of opening up um, our interest list for publishing agency services um, to help you become a best-selling self-published author. So if you're interested in that, then feel free to send us an email at ties that bind publishing at gmail.com. And in the subject line, you can just put interest list. Um, and then in the body, just kind of give me a little bit of background about who you are, 
um, what it is that you're seeking, what type of stories that you're trying to write. Um, and then we will connect and hopefully I hear from all of you soon and that we all are able to continue to go out there and take over the world and eradicate illiteracy and ensure that um, all of our uh, babies, right? All of our babies, because this is the next generation, are reading and writing and being creative um, and living in their truth. So again, we are at Ties That Bind Publishing everywhere, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Pinterest, YouTube, you name it. If you search ties that bind publishing, you will find us. And if you yourself are ready to take that leap of faith and step into your own authorpreneurship or to become an author, please do feel free to email us at ties that bind publishing at gmail.com. And I hope to speak to you all soon. Bye for now.